Hey everyone, I'm Jeep Mama and today I'm going to share with you my top five tips for when you're off-roading. Now these aren't really tips but more trail etiquette, especially when you're in a group of other Jeepers. When you're with a group of other Jeepers and you're in that single file line going down the trails, there are some things you're going to need to be aware of. Okay, some trail tips for you. These are my top five trail tips and one of the trail tips is when you're off-roading, you're going to want to leave enough space between you and the person in front of you. So when you're going through obstacles like water or up over hills, you need to leave enough space because the person in front of you might need to stop real quick or they may need to back down off an obstacle. So giving yourself enough room on the trails is a really good idea. You don't want to be bumper to bumper. And when you're in that single file line and you come up to an obstacle, you're going to want to let the jeeper in front of you go over the obstacle first and finish it before you even begin the obstacle, especially when you're going uphill or downhill. Now, I know some trails are just one big long obstacle, so you're going to have to use your own discretion and make sure you leave enough space so that person can go over the obstacles before you attempt them. So another great off-roading tip you're out on the trails with a group of people when you are in that long line you're gonna always want to be checking your rear view mirror you're gonna want to be watching for the Jeep behind you because you don't want to lose that Jeep you all have to be staying in a line keeping an eye on the Jeep behind you it's no man left behind or in today's case no woman left behind I'm the last in my group I'm called the tail gunner and what I do is I make sure the group stays together. It's my responsibility to make sure no man or woman gets left behind. So when you're out on the trails with a group, especially at events, there's usually lots of different groups out on the trails. And sometimes when you come upon each other, go in different ways, one group is always going to have to pull off to the side and let the other group go first. Um, what you're going to want to do is get off to the side as far as possible without doing any too much damage to the to the grass, the trees. You know, you're going to want to tread lightly. You're still going to want to get off to the side of the trail to let the other group go by. Another trail etiquette tip is to tread lightly. You can go over to treadlightly.org to check it out. Or like my co-host on the Jeep Talk Show, Josh, says, and don't forget Jeep junkies, wherever you're wheeling, if you pack it in, pack it out. Let's leave our outdoor recreation spots in as good or better condition than when we arrive. And remember, always tread lightly. Stay on the designated trails and don't wheel where you're not supposed to. So those were my top five trail etiquette tips for when you're off-roading with a group of Jeepers.